Last but not least, I have a food addiction. Gluttony. I eat a lot. I overeat. You know, I'm an emotional eater. You know, I, it's, 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 a, it's a disorder. You know, like, people can have an eating disorder, not just from, like, you know, uh, being bulimic, you know, uh, uh, making themselves throw up, but also overeating, you know, because you're trying to cope with life and cope with stress and cope with depression and things of that nature. So one of my things is eating. You know, I, I, I got a stomach on me, you know. You know, that's, that's what I do. I eat. I overeat. So even after that vision, so my mother, she's she been having dreams lately, these weird dreams. Uh, and I'm going to just tell you a recent one because it's the last thing. September the 28th uh, of this year, she had a dream of me just, just gouging, gouging, just overeating because I'm a fast eater. I'm a fast eater, and I just, I just overeat. So she had a dream of that. And then the day, bef the day later, September the 29th of this year, uh, my my brother, he had his uh, daughter over, and they came downstairs. You know, it was a little wild and loud. Oh, well, she was a little loud because he was about to take her to school, and I was sleeping on the couch. My mother was sleeping in the uh, in the other living room, the, the first living room, and I got kind of a little upset because, like, you know, I'm trying to go to sleep. So I got up from the couch, and I went to the bedroom right in the sunroom and laid down. Tell me why, when I went to sleep, I felt myself in the kitchen. Tell me why. I felt myself in the kitchen dancing. I felt myself. I had another excursion, an out-of-body experience. This is the most recent one. I felt myself dancing, having having an excursion, out-of-body experience. I was dancing. I was eating. And my back was like this. Tell me why I felt somebody push me. I felt somebody push me to the ground. And then I try, and, and then I looked, and I tried to scream, my, but my but my voice went, my, my, my voice was like, mm, mm. and all of a sudden I felt somebody grab my leg, grab my ankle, and started to pull me. And when I looked, it wasn't nobody there. As I was being pulled, I looked, and it was nobody there. And I felt that. They was pulling me. I'm gonna show y'all where they was pulling me at. They was pulling me on a rug right by the stove. Like they pushed me, and I fell to the ground. And I screamed, Mom! I was like, mm. my, mm. I couldn't, I couldn't shout out. I couldn't scream out for help. And all of a sudden, I felt somebody grab my leg, my ankle, and I turned. When, once they grabbed my ankle, and it wasn't nobody there. And as I looked, I saw my feet in the air, and they was pulling me. And I felt myself being pulled. I felt the carpet as I was being pulled. I felt the hand on my, on my ankle. It felt like exorcism. It felt like an exorcism. It felt like the exorcism of Emily. You've seen it all the time where in those scary movies where people uh, get pulled, they be in bed, and all of a sudden their leg get pulled. You see it all the time in movies. And I swear, at that particular moment, it felt like I was in an exorcist movie. It felt like I was in an exorcist movie. And what my Heavenly Father was saying, stop eating. Stop overeating. Because the day before, my mother had a vision of me overeating. And she said, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, the word gluttony. The word gluttony came. I'm like, and she was like, what is gluttony? And I told her, gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. Gluttony, pride, envy, lust, wrath, uh, um, sloth, and there's another one. But gluttony, overeating is one of the seven deadly sins. And the day before, she had a vision of that. And the day after, as I was in the kitchen, overeating, dancing, I get pulled, I get pushed to the ground. And then I turn around and I see nobody there, but I see my feet in the air. And I feel somebody, I, 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 I literally feel somebody holding on to my ankle and dragging me on the floor. So after that, I've been eating, I've been, I've been, I've been cutting down on eating. So with the 19 year old who had a vision of, of, of hell and, and, and the other black guy who had a vision of judgment day, this shit is real. It's real. Ain't it, 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 it. I'm telling you, it's real. You know, so I, I, I basically turned my life over to Yahweh our Elohim. God, Lord God, Yahweh, Lord, Elohim, God, Yahshua the Messiah, Holy Spirit. Look it up. Don't take my word for it. Look up those names. Because that, cause that, that, is a, that is a true name of our Heavenly Father. The true name. And I have nothing against those other religions and stuff like that, but it's false. You know, it's false. 
So turn your life over to God. Stop the depression. Stop the well. well stop. Well, it's hard to be depressed. It's hard. It's hard to stop depression. But all those dreams people have and you. That, that that's just a message. That's literally a message. It's telling telling you to just stop what you're doing. Stop stop cheating on your wives or your husbands. You know stop stop uh, uh forgive forgive those out there. You know because me and my brother we was going through it, and I, I forgave him. You know because I ain't about to uh, uh 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 mess up eternal life, mess up my eternal life because I didn't forgive this person or because I was addicted to porn or because I was uh uh uh, uh overeating and got in and and, and and you know to the point where I I feel my chest hurting at times to the point where I feel as though I'm about to have a heart attack. So you know. We at the end of the age, man. We in the sixth dispensation. Because a thousand years to Yahweh is one day as one day is a thousand years. Something like that. Something along those lines. But it's only been a week for Yahweh. It's only been a week for him. For our Heavenly Father, the Most High. Because everything is a type and shadow. So as we go throughout our weekly, you know, uh, throughout our day-to-day -day, uh, routine, you know, throughout the week, it's only literally been six days to Yahweh because we are in the sixth dispensation, you know, and we in the grace period. We in the grace period. So he's given us time, long suffering. I was always saying, why is it taking so long for him to uh, 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 end this thing? I'm ready. I'm ready. You don't want to do that right now because a lot of us, if that was the case, we'd be going to the lake. If he was to end it right now, a lot of us would be going to the lake. So he's given us time to repent. And all I'm saying is, you better heed that warning. I'm not threatening you, but just do your own personal investigation. You know, look up the names, Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua, the Messiah. And um, just turn your life over to God. You know, turn your life over to God. And that's all I got to say.